Don't insult the things you wish you could have. A story with a moral and an anecdote. One afternoon, a fox was walking through the forest and spotted a bunch of grapes hanging from a lofty branch. Just the thing to quench my thirst, he thought. Taking a couple of steps back, the fox jumped and just missed the hanging grapes. The fox tried again but still failed to reach them. Finally, giving up, the fox turned his nose up and said, They are probably sore anyway and walked away. Do not insult the things you wish you could have because you could not have them, they never turn bad. Another anecdote. Ignore the haters. A group of frogs were travelling through the forest when two of them fell into a deep pit. When the other frogs saw how deep the pit was, they told the two frogs that there was no hope left for them. However, the two frogs ignored their comrades and proceeded to try to jump out of the pit. However, despite their efforts, the groups of frogs at the top of the pit were still saying that they should just give up and they would never make it out. Eventually, one of the frogs took heed of what the others were saying and he gave up, jumping even deeper to his death. The other frogs continued to jump as hard as he could. Once again, the group of frogs yelled at him to stop the pain and to just die. He ignored them and jumped even harder and finally made it out. When he got out, the other frog said, Did you not hear us? The frog explained to them that he was deaf and that he thought they were encouraging him the entire time. The haters are our inspirers. That's what Albert Einstein told and thanked everybody who said no when he wanted help. He thought that their no helped him to become great. Ignore the haters.